You're watching The Mic Check on every Monday afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Hello and welcome everybody to this week's Mic Check. Now, we had some announcements before the Mic Check. I'm not going to recap them right now, but if you want to hear what they are, please join us. I mean, the link is down below so you so, and and it's always open. So feel free to come hang out with us, you know, be here with us and get some feedback directly from us. It's a lot of fun, trust me. But anyway, we are continuing with the theme of sounding like the expert, of knowing what's going on. This is a really key for things like explainers, um, industrial narration, as well as some commercial scripts. You need to be the expert. You're the one that people are getting the information from. So you have to sound like you know what's going on. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And today we're going to be kicked off with Devin. Devin, why don't you go ahead and read for us? Open. Hold on. Eat it. Oh, there it goes. All right. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters Research. Here at Rockwell's Autom. Hello. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in, for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, com such an instrument comprised of dodge gears and bearings, Reliance Electric Motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Software is Rockwell Automation's Retro Encapulator. Encapulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of being power, instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. All right. Yes, did you hear me? Who, who's yep. next? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We're just waiting on who's next. And I forget how, how this goes, John. <laughs> <laughs> you can upstage me with your. <laughs> Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, is produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. Uh... Jake. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, Work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliant electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, Basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. Uh, let's see. Russ. Good job, Jake. Thank you. 
Here at Rockwell Automation World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Brady controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of being power, instead of being, now, the. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of being generated by the non by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and, capaci and capacitive di directance. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? Ah, Lord. Let's see, Andrea. Okay. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, Research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of being powered by, instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto, magneto reluctance, and capacitive di directance, capacitive directance. Oh my gosh, you guys, why? Why do we do this to ourselves? Because we're uh, pushing ourselves <laughs> to our absolute limit so that when we get into the real stuff, it's not nearly this bad. All right, all right. Dan, why don't what you do it? Medical. Do what? Me? Are you reading today? Yeah, I'm reading. Okay, go, go for it, Dan. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating, elex and operating excellence. With customer, <laughs> with customer success as our primary focus, work has been... With customer success as our primary focus, work has per 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 per. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge. Such an instrument. <laughs> such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative. Now, basically the only principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto. It's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive. <laughs> Wow, Michael, really? Did you do this to us? I did this to you guys, absolutely. And you guys can tear me apart for it. I'm totally willing to take that. It's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive di directance. Yes. Directance. 
It's produced by the modial integ. <laughs> Didn't make it past that part. It's produced by the modi. <laughs> now I'm laughing. All right. It's produced by the modal. I'm getting farther and farther back. Yeah. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good, Dad. You made it all the way through. Go ahead and Let choose me do someone. One next. more time. Okay. What do you okay. want for nothing? One more. Rubber biscuit? <laughs> it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Devin, have you read yet? You Devin was first. Okay. Did Richard read yet? Richard is not read yet. I haven't seen Richard in a long time. And I just wanted to say hi, Gramps. How you, how you doing, young man? You're looking mighty fine this evening. Oh, I finally got a job today. Oh, awesome. <sighs> uh, you guys weren't here when I said Joe said to say hi to everybody in the group. So you guys would know. <clears throat> here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retroencabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Okay, uh, Nathan. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> okay. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer services as our main, with customer success as our primary focus, Work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. Goldie. Swapping mics, does this work? Yeah. Enough? Okay, cool. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research is proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase, for use in unilateral phase detectors, for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electrical, Reliance electrical, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software, is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it is produced by the modal interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. Um, who hasn't gone? Planet.
Okay. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge geared and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Let's see. Philip. Yeah, Leonard. Go ahead. All right, thank you. All right. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings Reliance Electric Motors, Allen Bradley Controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Software is Rockwell Automation's Retro Encabulator. Now basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Um, Jake, have you gone yet? I think Michael, Rob, and Vincent are the ones left. Unless I'm missing somebody. Michael, Rob, and Vincent. Um, all right. How about Rob? Um, Rob? Just have to adjust a little. I, I just noticed in the print, I mean, with the print, I typed into the, the script. So I'll try to adjust a little. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technical... Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, Work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is. Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive and capacitive directance. Okay, it's just myself and Vincent left. Who's going next? Right. Um, quick thing. Did I pronounce that right? Because that does not feel right. Directants? Or... <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't worry. This is just a cold read. You're fine. Directants is actually correct. Yeah. So uh, who's up next, Rob? Is it going to be myself or Vincent? Go ahead, Michael. Okay. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. 
With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Software is Rockwell Automation's Retro Encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magnetoreluctance and capacitive directance. And capacitive directance. Okay, Vincent, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> Here at Walkwell Automation, here at Walkwell Automation World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards of equal standards for, equal for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success, <clears throat> with customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the cruelly conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unliteral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen, Brad Allen Bradley control, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro Encapulator, encapulator, encapulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by rel relative motion of conductors and fluxes, and flux, it's produced by a modal interaction of mag, magneto, <laughs> no, mag. Magneto reluctance and capacitive direct direct damn it, I can't can, cannot pronounce that word direct directance Dur directance yeah directance Dur directance directance okay so unless I've missed somebody or unless somebody shows up I think that's all of us right okay cool. So we have the direction of sounding like uh, we know what's going on when obviously this is a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Um, but still, this is an important skill to try to learn because, again, like I said, it comes up quite a bit. You need to be the expert on whatever it is you're talking about when you're behind the microphone for almost every single um, yeah. uh, every single project you're going to be part of. So let's go ahead and talk about it. What are some key things that define the I know what I'm talking about read. When you think of somebody who knows what they are talking about, how would you describe that read? Usually when I see scripts like that, my coach has said, imagine yourself as the person who invented slash built it, which means you need to have an authoritative but less salesy read because if you're the guy who designed it, you know it's good enough it's going to sell. You're not trying to peddle it to everybody. You're just sort of there in the boardroom meeting to present, no, yeah, here's, here's what it does. And, you know, if you guys want it, I'm happy to sell it to you. If not, I got three other guys lined up. So a little more. Matter of fact. Matter of fact, yeah. We got matter of fact, actually, um, before we get too far, audio or audiovisual? I think it's audiovisual, although there's an awful lot of words for that, um, because we have the Dodge gears and bearings, the Reliance electrical motors, and the Allen Bradley controls. 
Well, that's which, just the parts that are inside the visual of the outside that you might be seeing as they're showing. Yeah, you yeah. I mean, it, it would be like talking about a, a diesel pickup that's got a Cummins engine and an Allison transmission. Yeah. You don't get to see that, yeah. but, but people it, know that. Yeah. Yeah. I could see it as being a audio, like being a recording on a guided tour, one of those automatic recordings that you get at a museum or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then the visual it's, is the thing at the museum, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I could say, like I said, I, I could see it as part of, you know, like a boardroom presentation, you know, mm -hmm. for five people and, and you've got, you know, kind of like Goldie saying, you, you've got the thing up on the screen while you're talking about it and or while your voiceover is going over it. So mm -hmm. it could be either one, but I guess that implies that it has to at least be able to be audiovisual. Mm -hmm. Well, you are, you guys are correct. It is audiovisual. Sorry, go ahead, Leonard. What were we going to say? Yeah. Yeah, what I what I was envisioning for for my role in this was uh, conducting a plant tour with representatives of Dodge and Reliance and whatever, and showing them, okay, this is what we got. Yeah, that's what that I was thinking sense. too. Yeah, that's what yeah. I see as a plant tour. Somebody's coming through. Okay, here is the section where we are. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Yes. So you were right. This is audio visual and you are guiding people through this machine. You are showing them all the different parts. So that brings up an important note to remember when you are delivering this, use your body, use your hands, point out the pieces. It doesn't matter where they are, point them out. It doesn't matter how you act them out, point out how things work together. So you're showing people what this is and explaining to it along the way. So this is audio visual. I mean, I don't care. I don't care how big or small the retro encabulator is for you. I don't care how complicated it is for you. Just there are things to point out. There is a spectrum of objects that you are working with in this description. So now what let's I go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. I said what, what I find helps when I'm describing something where there are different things I'm pointing out is to sort of visualize it. I mean, even if it's yeah. just, you know, there's some gears yeah, over here and there's a motor over there and, oh, oh there's a control system here. It looks like this. And, mm -hmm. and, and this is the retro encabulator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you're, you're absolutely right. This is, I mean, point it all out. You have it in front of you and you're showing them, you're giving them the demonstration. Now, um, Let's go ahead and go back to the sound of knowing what you're talking about. So let, let's, let's, let's go ahead and get back onto that. So we talked about matter of fact and not very salesy. That's, I think that's, that's I, I mean, I, I think most places nowadays are looking for not very salesy. Am I, am I, well, yeah. am yeah. I wrong? Yeah. <laughs> like, but, the, but, but there's an authoritative... I don't know if this is there's audio a, visual a warmth to the authoritative, not a warmth... Uh, I, I think when, the difference when, being that you're authoritative because you know, not because you know how to say the words. Because there are plenty of people that want not salesy, that want kind of a, a millennial, I don't, I don't really care one way or another. This is someone yeah. who cares because they, they know about it, either because they, you know, they're the expert on the company or the expert on this particular device. So they have a little bit more invested but they're still, they're confident enough that somebody's going to buy this. So I don't have to sell it to you. The thing sells itself. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want this the to sound like your, yeah. your atypical, um, what is it? YouTube review video. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing is that like, even if you're like imagining that you were the one who developed this amazing new way of investing the power, generating the power by doing modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance, you probably aren't, you, you need to have been somebody who's done enough presentations that you're not, it's produced by the modal interactions of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance, because that sort of loses the whole authoritative thing. Yeah, that's where it gets well, into YouTube review video. Yeah, I mean, if, if I may, if I may make an assumption here, I think I think a lot of it also comes from the fact that you assume your audience knows what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You assume that yeah, they, yeah. this is this is not foreign yeah. language to them. Mm -hmm. 
that you're speaking with somebody who oftentimes works with magneto reluctance and capacitive directance that you want to deliver that as instead of you know you know uh, magneto reluctance and capacitive directance you know somebody's like oh okay well i yeah instead of what are you talking about you know you want that reaction of i get what you mean i never thought of it that way so that's, and, that's that's kind of what we're talking about. We're we're assuming that our audience is in the know as well. Yeah, yeah. your audience is a room full of engineers. Yes. yes. So Sorry, it's Goldie, different than a training video where you're an expert on something because you're not going to go and say, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters because mm -hmm. they already know about the challenge of automatically synchronizing our cardinal gram meters because they deal with it every day. Right. Right. <laughs> So yeah, um, another one, that, that's, that's another note that we can put onto the script is assume your audience knows what you're saying. They know all of these gotta, words. This is not foreign to them. So you have to be confident in your conversation as well, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you want to show that you know more than they do. Right. So it's not going to be a, uh, with customer success as our primary focus. You know, that's not going to be something like that. It's going to be more like gravitas, power. What's mm -hmm. the word? Power is probably a, the word I would think. Yeah. And there's also a certain belief in things. I mean, at work, we always, my tech job, we always joke about something being buzzword compliant. And this is totally <laughs> buzzword compliant because mm -hmm. we, with customer success is our primary focus. But we're not thinking of this as a buzzword. Of course, customer success is our primary focus. What do you mean? Um, but it's like you really believe with customer success is our primary focus. I mean, it's like really true. This is our primary focus. It's not a, I'm just using the buzzwords because that's what we do kind of thing. But not and, too, and still with the authoritative distance that comes with authority kind of playing off of that the idea of of not being too buzzwordy um i i feel like one of the things that i heard I, I know i heard john and richard do it i think leonard did it too uh was you a lot of us and i know i was guilty of it played up the you know monitored by rockwell software is and it kind of it almost sounded game showy and and those three came out and they just said and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell automation and just they they completely ignored the the colon, but then billboarded the the name, the Rockwell Automation Retro Encabulator. And I mm -hmm. I, I liked the sound of that when I heard them do it. Yeah, I, I had, had a coach once myself. say that that's, uh, that's the way you're supposed to do those. If you put a pause anywhere, it would be Rockwell software is Rockwell Automations. You put it before the is and not after, mm -hmm. if you pause at all. Mm -hmm. But I think you also still would want to do slight billboarding on Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, because you're, you're not selling anything. Yeah, I, you're maybe not. not. Selling anything. Yeah, you're maybe not, not selling question. it. You are not yeah. selling anything. Well, I know you're not selling anything. No, you're just no. letting them know you're what kind of these are all well-known mm -hmm. name parts that uh, Reliance electric motors have been around forever. Dodge gears at the time were a big deal. Allen Bradley controls are still around. Mm -hmm. These are quality manufactured parts. It's not just we put it together. This is the stuff we have in here. It's the best you can get to it's make Dodge this Dodge gears and bearings, yeah. not just mm -hmm. any... Right. The there, yeah. right. Well, well the, the, the other thing is, the other thing is, is if you actually look at that paragraph, all of that, all, caps. all of that is an aside. Rockwell's, Rockwell mm -hmm. Automation's retro encabulator, period. Yeah, or, uh, but that all, is the all of that, yeah, the, but, the, the, but, but all of the components that are used in it are an aside. You can, mm -hmm. so if you, if you look at that, such an instrument comprised of yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can remove everything from comprised and to software, and it still is a complete sentence. Such yeah. an instrument is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. So yeah. all of that extra stuff is an aside. It's not a billboard. It's true. You're just pointing these things out. These okay, are, these so maybe billboard isn't the right word, but you would make sure that it was clear that it was Dodge no. gears and bearings. No, so it's just anything. comprised of Dodge gears and bearings. You're Reliance not selling anything. Motors. This is this Colorado is Bradley controls. Okay. This yeah. is just like okay, so yeah, okay, so here's what's in it. Yeah, and the stuff is good. I know it's good. You know it's good. Nobody it's got, has to say uh, it's good. Tomatoes, right. onions, mushrooms, <laughs> pasta, <laughs> a little bit of garlic, and you got it's, spaghetti. It's almost. 
it's almost like the expectation, like of you, you don't have to stress that they're Dodge gears and Allen Bradley controls because of course we're going to use the best. So like I, I agree Goldie with what you're saying in the sense that you don't want to throw it away completely, but it's, it's not something where you stress each of those names any more than just an acknowledgement of, you know, and of course we used this and we use this and we use this to make spaghetti. Yeah. Again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> again, your audience knows what's going on. Your audience yeah. is, is, is familiar with these names. So point them out. Don't don't billboard them, but point them out. You know, okay. Dodge Gears and Bearings, Reliance Electric Motors, Allen Bradley Controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Software. You know, so you, you'd... Ooh, pointing was out was what I was talking about. I didn't really like, mean but... full on. Like, sort of billboarding is more like... Because you said Dodge Gears and Bearing, Reliance Electric Motors, Allen Bradley Controls. And that gives them <laughs> some weight, slight more weight than the Gears and Bearings. Maybe not that hard. As hard as just mentioning the names of these products is going to give <laughs> your uh, retro and cabulator uh, its own gravitas because we made it with the best you can buy. And they will go, oh, we're familiar with all those. Oh, they all make great products. This must be good. Okay. So it's just yeah. letting them know about it. They good will gosh. they will catch on. Man, I was really hoping to hear Janet's take on this. Yeah. <laughs> but for, for the most part, it's more like... Uh, such an instrument is comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell's retro and cabulator. It's, it's, it's like tossing out ingredients for a recipe. Yeah. It's not, it's not like, in my opinion. I, cause like, if you're just tossing out ingredients for a recipe, we wouldn't even have the word Dodge, Reliance Electric, or Allen Bradley. You know? Yeah, it depends. Yeah. On like Goldie says, if, it needs to have just like Rotel a little and... bit of something. It doesn't yeah, have to be like yeah. Dodge. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. hey, you well, they're separated by anyway. they're separated by commas. So in yeah, that being, an automatic it, each thing is going to have its own word. deal without right. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, yeah. somebody upside I the head with it. Given one because of the other than Dodge. It's a given stress on them, and I'm hearing everybody do that stress. So yeah, it's a, it's I wouldn't it's call slight. it. A... It's not it's not like throw in your face billboarded. Yeah, it's yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already said that I used the wrong word by billboarding. Reliance I said the slight motors, slight Alan Bradley controls, all monitored by, by well, bearing, and all. Well, don't don't sound like you're falling controls. asleep though. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm kind of visualizing it as saying comprised of yellow gears and bearings, green electric motors, blue controls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, that, exactly. that level of emphasis that you just did yeah. is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. We're pointing them out. We're not billboarding them. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Basically, what we're doing is we're establishing credibility. Like, that's yes. what that, that entire paragraph is. That's why we is. even have that parenthetical phrase. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's establishing the credibility that that uh, yeah we <laughs> Jay yeah, just put in there. I think yes, we're arguing yeah, the same point. We're, yeah, absolutely. I'm just okay. trying to unify that. We're we're establishing credibility. So we're I think I think I think we're all pretty solid on what we need to do there. So let's go ahead and and, uh, and move on. Just, just um, wanted to find a different horse to beat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat that horse to death, man. Come on. Oh, you know what? Just shoot I it. used the wrong word. Seriously. <laughs> But uh, so, so now we move on to the very end. And this is where you really have to establish yourself as knowing what's going on. Because there's a lot of really crazy terminology in there, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're talking about is, is the difference between two processes. So sure, I mean, the pronunciation of these things may be a little bit difficult. Magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Capacitive directance. I, I have a problem with adding an M in capacitive. I don't know why. Um, but the, what we want to do is we want to, is we want to present this as though the second half, the, the, the part after that comma is unique oh, and novel. It's, it's interesting, you know? So now basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, you know, like you're used to seeing, uh, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. So it's like, instead of just this way that you've seen a million times before, we've done it like this. This is interesting. Modial. This is different. So, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, uh, 
think modial interaction would be one. Yeah, no, no, modal no, I would, interaction. I didn't emphasize any of those. I was just modial, not moda, modal, but modial. modal. Yeah, modial, modial. Oh it's no! A... In that last paragraph, like set. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five people miss five different words. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's a modal for, the, for the cold read, and I was just. Uh, that's why I kept on going back over and over and over. I wasn't gonna miss a word. <laughs> And there was at least one dropping of the word power. So <laughs> there, yeah, there yeah, were multiple, right. but yeah. 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 One of them like uh let's see. Yeah, two people drop power, somebody drop new, one of them drop relative. And I can't remember what the other one was. No, doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah well we'll we'll get, that, we'll get to that we'll get to that in the directed reads. For some folks, it was very cold. Reads. Oh yeah. So what we want to do is we want to establish a knowledge of processes. It's talking about two separate processes. So basically the idea is cut in half by that comma. So um, power being generated by the relative motion of, thank you for closing up on me phone. There we go. Uh, power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes is one idea. You could sort of bracket those in, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, basic, now basically the only new principle involved is that, you know, mental comma, slight brief pause, is that instead of power being generated by the relative motions of, by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, I'm even messing that up. Um, then we have the other half. You can bracket that part off together as another single idea. It's produced, so instead it's produced by the modial interaction of magnetoreluctance and capacitive directance, you know? So, in, you know, you have normally this, but instead we're doing this, you know? That's the same kind of tone of voice that you want to have. Da, 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 You know, it's, it's the presentation. This is where this product differs from the other product. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, definitely practice pronouncing those words. Modial yeah. interaction, magnetoreluctance, capacitive directance. I usually don't have a problem with that. I've done enough medical reading. <laughs> yeah, medical can be really bad. Just yeah, like, try talk, try reading through an entire pamphlet on atherosclerosis and then, you know, come back and do this. You'll have no problem. But tonight, tonight's after a 12-pack of beer and a couple of shots, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got it. Okay. If you slur the words enough, then it doesn't yeah. matter. Right. Nobody cares. Um, equally All right. right. Um, so we hit the top of the hour uh, really quick. Does anybody have any other questions, comments, concerns about the script? Something maybe we didn't go over, like more clarity on anything before we get into the directed reads. If I suggest up, that we drop out the first paragraph. So start with customer success as our primary focus? Yeah. What does everybody think? Everybody, everybody agree with that? Let me, let me see a hand if you're cool with that, just to save on time. I, I like it. I mean, we've got an hour, but... Yeah, I like introducing. I don't think it's necessary, but the yeah, the land. introduction is kind of where you, where you start the building. But I I'm fine either way. Yeah. My yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be too bad with that with that first paragraph. It, it, this is this is only about sixty seconds of reading altogether. So and if you mess up, go back to at least a comma. Yeah, we'll we'll, just we'll get start, into that. Yeah. Um, go, yeah. For for. It, it, I mean, I'm, if we start it now, then it, it'll help for the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, would also be capable of automat capable of automat. No, no, no. You don't. You want to go back to? Well, actually, you probably don't even want to go back to a comma there. But that's a long no. sentence. Yeah, we'll, we'll 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 get into that. But there's a natural cut in. Yeah. So cut but in. I have uh, a question. Yeah. What's up? I'm sorry. Uh, the first three paragraphs are supposed to be, you know, the expertise read, right? You're, mm -hmm. you're the expert but then on the fourth paragraph it starts out with now basically which makes it kind of sound like it's more we're on the same level right that's where considering your audience where where nathan said you're delivering this to like a room full of engineers believe it or not probably the the real expertise is in that fourth paragraph because that's where you're showing here to all of your peers here's what we're doing that's new or different 
where ahead uh -huh. of that. Yeah, because all the other stuff is stuff they know and they've been fluff. working on and it's they've fluff. been trying to solve. Okay. And, and the you, last one is what the, you've done this is, is not the same old same old. a new way to power this, which has transformed it so it more reliably synchronizes the cardinal gram meters. I mean, without that new power source, we'd be stuck. <laughs> okay, I think I get. I think I get where where it should go. Okay. All right, thank you. Well, Devin, go ahead and kick us off. Hello, everyone. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only inverse Work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only pro provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronized cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encapsulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. Okay, let's get some feedback going. What does everybody think? I only stumbled a couple times. <laughs> so, <laughs> Pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's for us to decide. <laughs> I, I hear what you, I talk, you talked about, Jake, about the is thing. It sounded really good, at Devin. Yeah. The yeah, way you I like delivered that. that line. Okay. Yeah, yeah it sounded like um, changed. Oops. Go ahead. Good. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, is the ending sort of ended up on an up instead of a down? It seemed to me. Just my perspective. The so ending yeah, felt like it had a, a lot of character to it, which I liked. It was just the last word. But it was it was maybe a little too happy. Hmm. Okay. Maybe that's what I heard. To be uh, less friendly? Uh, no, it was It was all, I. to me, I could hear it as someone's going through the, uh, maybe a museum or th this is how they're introducing it is they stop and look at the equipment while this overhead voice comes from above and tells you blah, 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 blah. Because these guys already know it. They don't need somebody in front of them. And then they move on <laughs> to the next part of the machine. I don't know. I thought it sounded really good that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you don't have any tips? My tip I for mean, the overall, uh, I thought that was awesome. Oh. Yeah, uh, my tip for at least the first half or so is uh, I'd like to have a little more phrasing in there, a little more pauses here and there. If okay. and if you just read through it with no pauses here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters research has been proceeding to the well, was your <laughs> that, uh, that and when you throw in a few more pauses, it helps you emphasize the important parts. Okay, I go ahead, Dan. Have to disagree with. Leonard, I think she started out strong. Okay. Um, she she did have the pauses in there too, because even where there weren't commas, I was hearing a uh, a break in her in her opening. That second paragraph, though, yeah, she stumbled on, and then uh, mispronounced a couple of words. But that's which one? Synchronizing. She said synchronize, and you said provide. <laughs> what did I say? Provide instead of provide. I heard that one too. <laughs> Unless I had a mini you, stroke or you, something. You, 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 stum <laughs> you stumbled on it and then and then said it again. But like, going. yeah, you you like, had already you had already <laughs> gone back to the comma at work has been proceeding once, and so it was like the second time you stumbled, you just kind of went, ah, oh, fuck it, that's good enough, and kept on going. <laughs> we'll get in post. But you you started with a uh, a solid read. And then when you started stumbling, you started backing off of it a little bit. It 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 felt like you were just like not getting yeah. frustrated, but just getting through it. Yeah, just getting through it. Yeah, it dropped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But other, I mean, you started out strong to me. The, uh, Leonard said you didn't pause, but I I thought that first paragraph was great. So. And and let me clarify my comment. I wasn't saying you should pitch up. I'm saying in the very last sentence, it was magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. And I was like, and 
it was there wasn't the finality I was looking for. It didn't so feel fine. Up, oh, okay. So okay. What did everybody enough. think about the pacing? I thought the pacing was fine. I thought the pacing was, great, was perfect. Yeah. Other than yeah. yeah, again, when she started slipping up, she started slipping up. So yeah, just keep it even. Go ahead and give us one more read. Okay. Hello, everyone. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell's is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magnetoreluctance and capacitive directance. Was that final enough for you there? Uh, <laughs> Goldie, it was final enough. It was it was a tad quick. I think yeah, it was, I think it was a little bit up. fast. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now I, I think the even tone that you had before was perfect. I, I didn't okay, think you really needed to change it that much. So, um, we'll, yeah. We'll Frank and um, Frank and stitch it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Frank and stitch. I like <laughs> it. Stitch. But yeah, no. I think overall you, you did sound like you know what you like you you had a good grasp on what was happening and, and of the product itself. So, yeah, I, I actually thought it was just a really, I thought it was a really solid read, maybe a little bit quick, okay. but no biggie. So okay. let's go ahead and move on. Shall we? John, you're up next. All right. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, is produced by the modial interaction of magnetoreluctance and capacitive directance. John, what can I say? You are a consummate professional. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, the, so it it sounded like you were either on the team who made that, or you know, was the person who designed it, and um, the 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 tone was was even and 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 perfect. You weren't too quick in any place. It was easy to follow. I mean, I don't know. I don't have anything to say. Does anybody else have any opinions? Any uh, insight input? No, just a golf clap. <laughs> I like yeah, the way no, just... that the. Um, now, basically, the only new principle involved, just the way you transitioned into that was just, there was something special about it. Yeah, John, if I, I was going to um, go ahead, go ahead Jake. Well, I, I was going to say, uh, if I was going to say anything, I'd say it almost sounded like you, you had like one shot too many of the Kool-Aid, but that's mostly because I'm going to have to go after you and I want to find some way to screw your read up so that I sound better. <laughs> I know. Okay. Well, uh, well, my one comment there is it felt to me like it wasn't an engineer talking to engineers. It was a manager talking to managers. And I'd like to have a little more of the engineer talking to engineers vibe. That sounds like good. you knew too sense. much. I work with so many engineers. I try to avoid sounding like an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you really. but not on this one. Not on this one, John. Use, use your experience, John. Use that. It is a weapon. Use it. Use Go for it. Use Give us one more read. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. 
with customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, is produced by modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Dropped a word, dang it. And I, I didn't see where the word you, was you, you dropped, but now you've got two different reads, two different takes, and they can pick whichever one they like. Mm-hmm. And the I think you hit it. Engineering. Uh, yeah, I, I felt it, I felt more engineer and less manager that way, that time. So perfect job as far as I'm concerned. Thank yeah, you. the pace was a little quicker, and it was like, okay, you guys know all this. I'm going to get through all this so I can tell you that last little sentence about what's different. You know this, 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 and this, but... <laughs> So I liked it. It was Thank you. Yeah, it Thank was you. different. Like Jake said, it was different, but you've got two to choose from. Pick one. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, I think I think Dan had a bedline deadline here. Do we need to bump you up in the order? It uh, sounded more like Dan had an emergency. Yeah, oh, it looks okay. like Dan needs to go. So let's yeah. yeah. Okay. Dan's off the hook for tonight. Good luck, dude. So let's go ahead and uh and I'm move along, now. shall we? I'm going now. Go, 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 go. Okay. Do what you need to do. Take it easy, guys. See ya. All right, Jake, you're up. Go for it. All right, let me get... You got you to follow John, so good luck. Like I said, <laughs> let me get him out of the order. Okay. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software, is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. I've got one nitpick. Uh, when you say, and it's at the, it's pretty much at the very beginning. It's actually the second paragraph, right? Yeah, uh, you put a lot of emphasis on meters. Uh, automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. And, and I think it's cardinal gram meters. Yeah, meters is, you know, we've seen meters in all different kinds of forms. So that isn't the operative word. It's cardinal gram. But that's that's really my one big thing. I think the rest of it sounded fun. I, uh, I heard it else? too, but I was I was rolling and didn't want to go back, and that was lazy, so should have. That was, well, this, I, that was the only thing I caught too, Michael. Um, but I do want to say, Jake, because I know because I've picked on you before, when it seems like you've gotten a little higher in your pitch, it's when you're trying to sell something, you stayed in your sweet zone there and it sounded like you were just talking and I, that that made it authoritative to me. Very good job. Okay, thank you. And it I don't have a lot, I thought it was great. Uh, but at the end again with the directants, I was not looking at that part of the script and it was like, oh, he stopped. It was like it yeah, needed to be felt just that, that little bit of finalized mm -hmm. on Finalizing the it. Okay. Yeah, that, that was all. It sounded like you were going to say something else. Because yeah, I gotcha. didn't, I wasn't looking at the script. I was just kind of listening and went, oh, I guess that is the end of it. <laughs> yeah. So, but that was it. The rest of it, you stayed the same all the way. You had the, the, the same character, if you will, going through it. So I thought you did a really good job. I also thought you captured the attitude that you described of sort of, you know, if you want this, great, but I have three other people lined up. I mean, that was like totally clear in this delivery. I don't know uh, so, so at least I can follow my own direction. That's you good. You can follow your own directions really well. It came through. Now, I would, I would not, not disagree, but I would throw another option there to, uh, to add on to what Richard said. I like the way you did the last paragraph because I think this script, if somebody's actually presenting this, 
there's going to be about that much more to it. They're going to get into the technical stuff. So it didn't bother me that it didn't sound final. I, I can do it either way. I can do it again, or we can move on to save time. You guys tell me. I think we're good. Okay. And that was a good read. I mean, John's already booked the job anyway, so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were just being picky, but I mean, we had yeah. to be because you did really well on that. So nice job. Well, you're the, the backup pick. They're not sure which one they're going with. <laughs> Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> well, it was nice being here. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, up next is Russ. Russ, go for it. I think he just said he's leaving. He had to go. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I think I missed that. It's so, uh, through right before Jake was supposed oh, to. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Dang. Okay. Well, uh, Andrea, you're up next. Go for it. I thought I had more time. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on a crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide an in that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal card oh my god but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters such an instrument comprised of dodge gears and bearings reliance electric motors allen bradley controls and all monitored by rockwell software is rockwell's is rockwell automation's retro encabulator now basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes it's produced by modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Okay, opening it up. What did everybody think? I think by the end you got the authoritativeness, but at the beginning I felt like there was too much smile or a different energy. Uh, I don't know. And the pacing sounded a bit bit fast for this. Okay. Yeah, I thought you were doing, you just maybe were more thrown off by the words and it, reading it more. But then by the end, it sounded like you were just really talking to people and you only missed that I found. And the last one you said modial interaction instead of the modial interaction. Ah, uh, okay. Just, uh, I don't know what other words, but. but I, I think that was actually it. The rest of it was good. Just yeah. you missed the the. Deliver it like you're wearing a lab coat. To other people wearing lab coats. Go for it. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automa automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears, bear, oh. such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. A little bit quick, but overall solid. Yeah, yeah you probably, if I you just slowed it. down a little, you wouldn't be stumbling. I think if you just slowed down a little bit. And slowing down a little also yeah. will give you more of an authoritative read, instead of okay. kind of almost ran through, but you still sound like you knew what you were talking about. It that that's basically it was just a, a tad on the quick side. Okay. I, I but I could hear the that. lab coat. That was great. Yeah. I yeah. Was like, wow, there's the lab coat. Totally. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I think the only place I, I heard you get too animated, for lack of a better term, uh, was the start of the second paragraph and the end of the second paragraph. The, with, with customer success as our primary focus, mm. and you hit focus the way a salesman would hit it rather than like an engineer. 
kind of like Goldie was saying earlier, it's a buzzword. An engineer is going to say primary focus the same way that they would say dog shit. They, they don't really care about it because they're talking to other engineers, right? Uh -huh. It's almost like a, an inside joke. And then the but would also, both of those words focus and also had a little too much love. Everything else I thought uh, other than the pacing was really, really good, really strong. Okay. Thanks, guys. Andrea, yeah, the uh, uh, with the customer success as our primary focus is, I gotta say this part because sales said I have to. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Keeping it's people like, happy. And blah 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 blah. Whatever. <laughs> <Moving on. laughs> yeah, I, I I knew an engineer that tried to host his own talk show once, and, <laughs> and he had this thing about, um, well, we really don't care what you're all about. We want to talk about what I want to talk about on my show. I mean, just kind of this kind of focus. And <laughs> yeah. that doesn't go well. Ooh, just uh, just retake uh, with customer success. Just that paragraph. Okay. With customer success as our primary focus, Sean has been proceeding. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for the use of unilateral phase detractors but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you started out running again. <laughs> as soon as you slow down, though, as soon as you slow down, you had tone. You yeah. had the right tone. And then it was you, there. you did stumble a bit, which, you know, mm -hmm. that's... Uh, but we're not gonna we're not gonna script. get too hung up on uh, too too hung up on that because that's kind of the nature of the script. That's actually why I chose it. But... Um, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, other than that, you did get the, the rest of the feel and the tone down right. So good on you. We'll go ahead and move on. Richard. Yes. Yeah, I think it's me next. But everybody yep. dropping is like, where was I at in the order? <laughs> Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards of quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magnetal reluctance and capacitive directance. I've got a really weird bit of feedback. You did great with the hard parts and stumbled over the easy ones. No. Uh, okay. I was going to say, uh, for one, Richard, uh, I actually heard you roll your eyes when you said with customer success as our primary focus. <laughs> um, so that, that might've been a little too much. But Do you know it, how hard it is to read that while your eyes are rolling? It's uh, yeah, not I know, an easy for feat, real. Trust me. <laughs> um, but I, what I was going to say is you went from engineer in a lab coat in the first two paragraphs to tour guide in the last two. Specifically okay. in the third one, such so an makes, instrument. That's what Michael said. That makes that makes more sense. What you were saying is, did the hard parts okay, and then or the hard. Well, parts I mean, I I was I was going to get into explaining it, but I was cut off. But anyway, go ahead. I, keep, keep. I'm very sorry, Michael. I will shut my <laughs> mic off. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, no. Again, arguing the same points. We're on the same page here. I think. Um, just as, as a brief example, uh, when you started up the very final paragraph, you, you delivered the, um, you know, generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes and, you know, the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance really well, you, you did that well, but the lead up was kind of, I just need to get through this before I get to the parts I practiced. It so, felt more, <laughs> more to me, like you were doing narration than actually talking to people in the plant. Yeah. Okay. Like you yeah, were in I the got, booth instead of the plant. Yeah. I got a little bit of a stuffed shirt vibe to it. Oh, I was trying to be a 
Uh, well, that, that, that's an engineer thing, right, right there. That's yeah. an engineer thing. <laughs> Good, you caught the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> like John, I worked around in engineers for a very long time. So, <laughs> okay. So, um, another thing uh, with uh, the second to last paragraph, um, you 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 kept everything at a really high level. We were talking about all of the different parts of it being sort of an aside. So we want to we want to bring that down a little bit. Okay. So you're like such an instrument comprised of, you know, we want to have a little bit of a break. Such an instrument comprised of dodge, you know, and then you go into okay. it. So there's there's a there's a brief little comma or pause in there, and everything sort of sinks down into just explaining what we put into the thing. So uh, do it again, but better. <laughs> Your favorite direction for me. Thank you. <laughs> Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwall Automation's Retro Encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. So you did it. You did it again, but better. You yes. follow the direction. <laughs> and besides, you haven't been here for a while, so I had to give you that direction. Come I on. I thought you said you did it again. Yeah. I'm going, really? I did it this No, time. no, 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 no. You actually you actually pulled it off this time. It was it was okay. much it was much better. Um one of the things that I remember learning, and this is uh this is something I've just noticed in past reads as well. It just came up while I was listening to to um while I was listening in, is um the difference between sounding like you know what you're talking about and sounding like uh, somebody who's just reading is where you put your, like where, how you modulate your voice in the not so important stuff. So in the linking stuff, like um, again, like what we we're talking about. Now, basically the only new principle involved, if you start like randomly throwing in, you know, weird fluctuations in your voice there, it's going to sound odd. You know, now basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated, you know, do you see what I mean there? Like not having a good, clear idea of what to do there. This is just a general note. I'm not picking on you, Richard. You, you no, did no, it I... fine this time. But yeah, that, that's that's one of the big things that I remember learning was pay attention to everything, even the off stuff, because that stuff is how you sound the most natural. One of the other things I was going to point out, Richard, that I thought two things that you did really well. I could hear you when you held up the Rockwell automation retro and cabulate, like you, the physication there was, was noticeable. Uh, but also the first time th now that you read it through right after provide inverse reactive current, you had a huge breath cause you were running out of wind before you got to the unilateral, unilateral, that stuff. I used the uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, this, this time I, I could tell you, you had enough wind to get all the way to the comma before taking a breath and that it sounded a lot cleaner. Yeah, I, did, I forgot to, now for myself, I have to sometimes make breath notes because I have a tendency to take too many and it was like, okay, oh, I got this big long one. I have a big breath here. So I would have made a note and I forgot the first time I went through it. I went, I'm not going to get to the end of this one. <laughs> Well, again, like I said, you did absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and move on. Nathan, okay. you are up. Here at Rock... Thought I was muted for a second there. Okay. Here at Rockwell... Auto Rockwell. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. 
Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software as Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magnetoreluctance and capacitive directance. Any feedback, input, anything? Well, let's open I, it up. I was going to say, Nathan, um, you ended stronger than you started. You started more like a manager using Leonard's direction from earlier. Uh, so okay. I, I was going to say at the start, sip the Kool-Aid. Don't gulp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing is, is uh, nitpick here, nitpick. Um, you you did what Jake did during his first read and you overemphasized meters. You said Cardinal Graham meters. Okay. You want the emphasis to be more on Cardinal Graham, Cardinal Graham meters. I think okay. Spanish inquisition. <laughs> Don't get that in my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Say, so uh, that's not the best thing to tell a character actor. Yeah. Yeah. Was... <laughs> Maybe. Now let's listen for uh, for what not to expect during his next read. All right, uh, nobody does anybody else... expects nobody expects the cardinal nobody grand expects... <laughs> Here at Rockwell Automations World headquarters, research has been okay. Yeah, all right, enough, Eric Idle. <laughs> all right. Uh, Rob pointed out that he heard a pause after the word "use." Okay. More than likely he did. It sounded something like for use or something like that. And I had like a little pause. Second paragraph. Yeah. For use in unilateral phase attractors. Basically the same place uh, Richard took a breath his first read. Yeah, I, I, I took a giant gulp of air right there. I, I remember exactly what I was doing in that point. So yeah, he did hear it. Okay. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on a crew. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse current. Slow down. Think. Okay. Here at Walkwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse and reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magnetoreluctance and capacitive directance. All right. Feedback. What did everybody think? Nathan, I really like this tone of voice that you've settled yourself into. Like when I first started out with you guys, everything had much a higher register. But when you've settled down into like this norm, not normal, but your, I don't know, your normal vocal range. You guys know what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> well, it's just, yeah. it sounds so good. Yep. Yeah, my natural range is actually a little bit higher. But at the same time, while I was reading this, I was actually um, imitating an engineer that I knew personally from the TV station. Well, it worked, baby. And yeah. and he he read he read our FCC disclaimer uh, for for a few years. He was the guy reading our FCC disclaimer, so I'd hear him. And so I'm thinking, okay, just read this, 
like Tom read the FCC disclaimer and, you know, he was very methodical, robotic. I mean, just he's an engineer. And uh, so I kind of that's where I dipped down and register was um, almost imitating him. But see, as I'm listening to you, when you started, your register was higher. But as you started saying that I dipped down into my register, you got right back into that same sweet yeah. spot. And it, I mean, mm-hmm. Andrea's right. It sounds great. It really, yeah. really sounds good. So yeah. that's that's your engineer character. Use it. The only thing I was going to say is use use your own direction when you when you reset. You told yourself to slow down, yeah. and you did a little bit, but you didn't slow down much. Okay. But that that tone was was nice. It was solid. Yeah, awesome. it's a, a way huge improvement from when mm-hmm. I started a few years ago here. <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> that was not a typical Nathan Reed. That was very, very well done, Nathan. It really was. Yeah. And yet I pulled off a character and nobody knew it. <laughs> well, the thing is, so, so we're not, like, we're, we're, not, we're not often telling you to not play a character. No, we're no. We're just trying no, to direct it to the correct one. But it, yeah. it, was, it, was, it, was, it was the right thing for the yeah. job. And, but at the same time, we were talking engineers and... I just like, okay, I'm going to borrow from this guy that I worked side by side with for almost 15 years. So, well, it didn't sound the least bit cartoonish. So, (laughs) so by all means, use the engineer character. It had Nathan, but it had a character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. All right. Well, let's go ahead and keep it going. Uh, Next up is Goldie. Goldie, go for it. You can take this so you're not staring at my waist. <laughs> Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership and operating excellence. With customer service as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software, and all monitored by Rockwell Software is Rockwell and all monitored by Rockwell Software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directness. All right. A, a couple things. A couple things. At the very beginning, yeah. you sounded just incredibly bored. There was okay. no life in the tone whatsoever. And okay. I think that was just a little too extreme for the very beginning. Okay. And then uh, you also replaced a word. You said with customer service as our primary oh. focus. Hi, I work for a company success. where that's the primary focus. <laughs> I guess it's been drilled in enough. I have the Kool-Aid. Oh, well, there you go. Yes, yes. You, you're, you're sipping on some different Kool-Aid this time around. Yep. Let's okay, go. let's find this Kool-Aid. Success. All right. Success. Yes. Cool. Uh, does anybody else have any other input? Um, uh, I just yeah. noted that uh, on the last paragraph, both times you said modal and not modal. Oh, modal, modal interaction. Yes. And uh, you weren't billboarding the names of the parts, if you will, in the instrument comprised of. Um, you need to pause between them, but not dodge gears and bearings. Or okay. Lines, electric motors. It was they were just a little too long, but okay. That's nitpicking. So. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Uh, you you do have a tendency to lose energy on the last word of a sentence. Yeah. So just be aware of that. Because <sighs> they're really long sentences, and I'm not breathing enough. They so. are. I will fix that. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, 
technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detectors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software, is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Okay, feedback. What did everybody think? Your yawn was perfect. It sounded so un. Sorry. It was. Uh... <laughs> It sounds like you've been me, listening I, to an. I bored you. <laughs> even even no. when you got to what the name of the product is, the Rockwell Automation's Retro Encabulator. Rockwell Automation's Retro Encabulator. Okay, so more energy there. Yeah, okay. it just was. Uh, your your, no, not even your tone. It was just um, disinterested. Okay. It was like I'm here. I was uh, trying to I'm back away from all the billboarding before. so much that I backed <laughs> yeah, away from right. where the billboarding was supposed but to be. Some but of okay. the rest of it was that way too. It was almost yeah. like, yeah, Bob was yeah. supposed to do the tour today. He couldn't make it. I got stuck doing that. I really. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what? That's kind of the way it came across to so me. So more energy, go. more excitement. Just, just remember, energy. Goldie, you the mm -hmm. the passion level is you built this thing. Okay. Like you you built I'll go it. Go back to my previous. Yeah, you are on it the almost feels like you're reading the instruction manual instead of talking to the engineers. Okay. Talk to them. I feel like I Talk heard to them. at All the right. very end the capacitive directance. I thought I heard like a sigh of relief at the end. Yeah, Bob will be back tomorrow. Thank morning. gosh, that's over. <laughs> okay, I was trying not to get too enthused by everything because I felt like, well, anyway. I will That's redo what you that. were Hang trying on, for. You second. did an excellent job. <laughs> here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detectors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it is produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. That was better. That was definitely better. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're still saying couple... detectors instead of detractors, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, that that was much better though. That yeah, was... the overall the the read was much better. Goldie, one thing I was going to suggest is if you if you start to get in a rut where you're not giving it enough emphasis, try reading it like each of these paragraphs is an answer to one of the engineer's questions. Okay, and where's this other word that you're telling me that I? Unilateral phase detractors. detractors. You were saying unilateral phase detectors. Detect yes, okay, got it. Yep. Dropped off on cardinal gram meters. You got to then you're like meters. Okay. I was trying not to emphasize meters, but I guess I just need to not worry about it. Okay. Overall, I thought that was a really good read. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. It's just the tiny little niche to pick. That's all. all. Right. So should I read it? Detractors, uh, we'll go on because just on. Uh, just unilateral phase detractors. Go ahead and give us that. Okay. Um, 
just the paragraph up to that or just unilateral no just <laughs> unilateral just phase yeah just just give us unilateral phase detractors okay. in unilateral phase detractors there you go cool yeah no the rest of the tone and everything else is fine and just you know need to get that out of the way yeah. leonard go for it Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software, is Rockwell Automation's retroencabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. Okay, any feedback? like it was a bit over articulated okay I, I would agree it it also felt like you worked your way into or i guess down to authoritative your first two paragraphs were a, a little going back to what you said earlier a little managerial and then by the time you got to such an instrument you, you had the the authority a little more solid okay i would also love to hear in that third paragraph that last phrase, the Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator, give that phrase a little bit more love. El okay. Elongate it maybe to billboard it. All right. Well, go ahead and give us another read. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software, is Rockwell Automation's retroencabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. Okay, what did everybody think of that one? I think it was more consistent that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it dropped out anywhere. Um, and uh, you as well, Leonard, have improved immensely from when you first came in the group. You're doing, your, your reads are much more fluid. Um, they're not sing-songy. That was a, a pretty dang nice read. Good job. Thank you. All right. Well, then I guess let's move on, shall we? Up next is Phil. Yep. All right. Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer service as our primary focus, Work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase attractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliant electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're running through it, bud. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 
stop you stop have... running and just have a nice walk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, some yeah. some of your words were decaying into each other because you were going so fast. Yeah. I I would also I would also say so slow down and care just a little bit less. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you were uh, <laughs> the word that was coming to my mind here was it sounded peppy. And uh, just put on your lab coat. Yeah, all right. You're like looking down at the class. The class is down. Glasses down? As in, as in you're just kind of mocking them as you're saying it, maybe. Just a Whoa, tiny. okay, okay. All right, mock them a little, a tiny bit. Just, yeah, j just a tad, just a tad. Okay. All right. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer support as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Yeah, I'd say that's it. <laughs> that was it. That was the one you, you were Nicely still had done. a little enthusiasm of like someone who was on the committee that built this. I really want to tell you all about it, but <laughs> you kept it down, but it had just that hint of enthusiasm with it. And it came off like, I know what I'm talking about because I was in this group and this is so great, <laughs> uh, but it was uh, you, when you slowed it down, your words, we could hear them, but you weren't over enunciating. So it was, that was really a great read. Very well done. Thank you. Thanks everyone. All right, moving right along is Rob. Rob, you're up. Go for it. In Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality technical to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitors, and all monitored by Rockwell Software is Rockwell Automation's retro is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now basically, the only new principle involved. Now basically the now basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modal it's produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. Yes. Okay, let's get some feedback. What did everybody think? Rob, you were you were cruising through that first paragraph, and as soon as you had your first stumble, everything fell apart. And and from that moment from that moment on, you were more worried about getting the words right than you were about the read. Because yeah, you started I'm off going the wrong way by that time. Well, but but at that point, stop, go back to the beginning of the paragraph, find that that character, that voice, that read, whatever you want to label it in your head that you had at the beginning, and go. Yeah. Because again, you you sounded like, oh gosh, I, I'm oh here comes another word. Oh damn, okay, I got that. Oh god, there's another one, and and like, I don't know about anybody else. I could hear you thinking your way through the rest of it instead of just acting yeah 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 take a deep breath um let's again in the interest of time let's go ahead and move it forward a little bit uh why don't you go ahead and start off at such an instrument 
But let's see if we can you can apply that to just the last two paragraphs. Such an instrument comprised of dodge gears and bearings, reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Science. All right, slow it down a little bit. You're moving real quick. Just, just slow it down. Such an instrument comprised of dodge gears and bearings, reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Softwares, Rockwell Automation's retro and cavitator. Now, basically, now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modular interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive and capacitive directness. There you go. Much better. Much better that time. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a little quick. That's all. Which is you know, for me. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right, I'm up. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and monitored by Rockwell software, is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. It Go ahead. Bad. Um, <clears throat> maybe it was, was it a little reedy? Is that just me? Is that what? There was something it wasn't it it wasn't by any means horrible but there was something that was made it distant and the only thing i can come up with is it almost sounded like reading uh, um, i was gonna ask being detached maybe yeah. yeah yeah it had a little bit of that corporate veneer i was gonna ask That's richard if if that ending was more what you were talking about that you heard with mine where it, it didn't really sound final yeah, yeah. i i also I like that you made a choice and committed to it in that second paragraph. I just wasn't crazy about the result with that, you know, inverse reactive current for you sent that, that pause and complete shift in, in not tone pitch, I guess. Uh, it just threw me a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it sounded like you were taking a breath there or something. <laughs> Maybe you were. <laughs> Okay. I, I thought me, I thought it sounded ahead. like you were saying it almost as though it was an an afterthought, but it didn't it didn't sound like an afterthought you would have to a colleague or another engineer, if that makes sense. It sounded more e explainery, like you're teaching a a class on it, if that makes sense. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and see if maybe I can I can alter it a little bit. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Software is Rockwell Automation's Retro Encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. I know what it is. When you're talking, you're breaking everything up into very distinct sections. And so it's not flowing in a more like, like when you're really talking to someone, you might take a micro pause, but you wouldn't break everything up into each section. I think that's what you're doing. 
there's that. Okay, and so I kept listening for to it. There was something, and when you're breaking them up that way, you're getting very articulate in the way that you're correctly phrasing the yeah. words that are there. And it's they're muddy it up a little, is the old phrase from Frank yeah. used to be. I, I was yeah. going to say it's, it's, yeah. just, it's just too. That's what makes it sound it's like polished. it's being read. It's just you're doing a good job of reading it that way, but you're not talking to anybody. This is the script they gave me. Here you go, and that's you are sweet. articulating it. It's coming out. It's just not a conversation. So relax a little and don't worry so much about clipping those words and articulating them. Is, did I get it? Jake, I, I I think that that's probably the best way uh, I could have explained it anyway. That it, Michael, you always do so damn good with all of these things. It's really irritating. But I think in this one, you're doing such a uh, seriously. It is a it is a beautiful read that I don't think is right for this this character. Like you, it's too polished. It's too it's too pretty. Okay. It needs to. I, I like what I like what Richard said. It needs needs to be muddied up a little bit so it sounds like you're talking to a room full of not room full. Of, you're talking to three engineers, not standing in the booth and and doing your your just normal awesome beautiful read. Or maybe a slight twist. I think maybe you're getting paid a little bit more for this. You know what? Let's let's give it a try. Let's see. One last go, and this will be it. If I don't get it, then I failed this one. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and monitored by Rockwell software, is Rockwell Automation's retroencabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magnetoreluctance and capacitive directance. Uh, I thought that was a thousand percent better. The, oh, yeah. the tiniest quibble I have is you sounded like you were getting frustrated by the last half of the last sentence. Ah, dang. But, <laughs> but, but literally, I, I, I literally, I, I thought it, going through your mind was probably, how about that, you guys? So <laughs> I, I thought just going through the whole thing, I'm like, check, check, check. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you mm -hmm. had it all. I, the, the way that you were wording it if you will was not so polished and and articulated but it needed to be just a smidge slower it was almost almost running through it but not quite but it was it was that was the only thing i had was the way you were saying the words and the way that they were coming out and the pauses and stuff was great just a tiny bit slower and it would have been spot on perfect that's the only pickiness i got okay totally agree all right so moving on vincent go for it give us a read all right. Here at Rockwell Automation World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that will not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unliteral, unlateral phase detractors, but will also be capable, capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an interest may comp comprise of Dodge gears, of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell's automations retro inca, inca, Rockwell's automations Rockwell's automation retro encabulator. Now basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by relative motion of conductors and flux, 
is produced by the modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive magneto reluctance and capacitive capacitive directions. Okay, let's get a little bit of feedback going. What everybody think? I think the words tripping you up started to make you focus on reading the words correctly instead of reading the piece. And so you started to break up where each word was to make sure you got it correct rather than to make sure you got the whole piece correct. Do you hear the difference? Mm -hmm. Kind of like instead of winning, you're trying to not to lose. Just try not to be too careful. Have a little fun with it. Yeah. Okay. Were you, were you following along, Vincent, with everybody else during their reads? Or were you yes. doing other things instead of following each person and following the words each time as they come around? When you're later in the group, that's a real helpful way to do things. So when it comes to around your time, you've already gone over it eight or nine times and, and essentially practiced it or more uh, with each, each person that's read so that the words are, you can remember what they sound like as you come to them. So that will help a little bit when you're doing this. And that's kind of what you have to do with certain things that we're, we do, especially with technical reads like this. You got to read over the sucker several times before you actually get it recorded right. Oh yeah, with mm -hmm. words like this, you just have to practice over and over and over until it just sticks in your head sometimes. Yeah, yes. and that that really is key for this because I mean, if you're stumbling over the words that all these engineer types know inside and out, backwards and forward, that totally makes you come across like, okay, this guy has no clue what he's talking about, which doesn't make the read word. Um, one word that just tripped you up was uh, unilateral and you were going unliteral. So it ju you just need to be a little more familiar with some of the words and practice helps with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, why don't you go ahead uh, and give us one more read. This will be the last one afterwards we're gonna have to call it. So uh, give us one more go. Don't worry too much about the pronunciation. Just try to keep the flow going. Try to keep your character going. Yes, even by messages, keep on going. Yep. Yep. Just go for it. Just make sure that you pronounce things or not. Don't, don't worry about the pronunciation. Just make sure that your, your delivery is the same. <clears throat> Here at Rockwell's Automation World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, Work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an interestment, interestment that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use of on, on lateral, unilateral phase detractors that will also be cap cap capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears, bearings, reliance, electric motors, Allen Bradley controls and all monitored by Rockwell software. Is Rockwell and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell's automation retro encapsulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductor and flux, it's produced by modal interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directions. Direction. Yeah, this is yeah, this is this is one that, that would be good for you to 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 keep and to, to practice a little bit because again, this one's meant to be hard. This is meant to be difficult and to try to trip you up. It's so that you can uh, try to focus more on how you sound rather than the words themselves. And if you can if you can put both of them together, though, that's just going to be more strength to your reads and to your uh, performances. So again. Keep this one on hand and practice it. This one's really going to help. I know this is really going to help all of us out. I think you all should do that as yeah. well. This should be one you look back on every once in a while. But anyway, uh, like I said before, we had uh, an announcement before the mic check. But if you weren't here, I'm not going to repeat it right now. So go ahead and feel free to join us. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Say hello to the wife in the background. Um, <laughs> but go ahead and feel free to join us so you can see what it is next time because I'm going to make the same announcement again. And um, again, if you like what you see, go ahead and you, you, well, you know what to do. Go ahead and join us. That's the most important part. And we'll see you next time. Take it easy, everybody. Love you all. Join us every Monday for free script practice. You can also find the mic check on Facebook and Twitter. If you liked what you saw, then subscribe for more.